Hey guys, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. Let's start this one off, shall we? By trying to deal with um, our Master Hunter quest, which means we have to kill lots of wolves. And that... Ooh, this is getting a little bit iffy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's fine. Apparently we didn't have to skin them afterwards, which is lucky. Ugh. Thank God for that. But we're going to skin them anyway, because, you know, might as well get something for our efforts. So there is another quest down. Now, the next part of this quest is actually, I think, significantly easier. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let's just finish carving up all of these bodies. Oh, all right. So we've got some loonies out here in this late hour. That's fine. As long as they're not causing us any problems, we don't mind. Not bad. So let's look at our journal. So Master Hunter rank four. So we've got to collect five boar tusks and three armadillo carapaces in addition to those you already have. All right. Now this one actually is far simpler. Far, far simpler than hunting the wolves. Uh, although, in retrospect, because I'm coming back to this video and doing post-commentary, in retrospect, killing the uh, wolves was way easier than I thought it was at the time. Especially, uh, I'm kind of at the end of the game now, and you get way better, or at least I got way better at the melee combat. So, this, uh, I was looking here. Because I was tempted to go straight after the boars. However, um, I spent about 20 minutes looking for boars. And I couldn't find any. Armadillos are a little bit harder to find. But we deal with that a little bit later. But I'm going to spare you guys <laughs> the 20 plus minutes running around looking for boars. Rather unsuccessfully, I might say. Apart from a somewhat iffy combat sequence that we got into with a load of wolves which nearly ended in disaster um but apart from that nothing really happened now one thing that i will say whilst we're on the way we might as well hand in the stranger quest because we've got the light camera action uh information which we uh, managed to grab earlier in the game. After all, we need to support this guy because he's going to be working on big things in the future. I know it. You know it. John knows it. His name's going to be in the heights of Hollywood. Was Hollywood a thing back then? Probably not. Right, let's go see our little friend. Give him the package that we've acquired. Careful, mister. Evening, sir. The dice you played in your favor. I've got just what you asked for. Oh, be on your way. Another adventure awaits you, I'm sure. Oh, we've got plenty of adventures ahead of us. Don't you worry about it. Nineteen bucks, we'll take it. We will indeed take it. After all, every little helps. Anyway, this was after I was trying to find some wolves. <laughs> I managed to fall off, glitch out, and kill our faithful steed, sadly. But in a surprising turn of events, it did lead us to the Pikes Basin bandit outpost, which at the this particular point I had no idea what this was I thought I'd stumbled into some sort of mission it's like <gasps> but no it's just a bandit outpost we also end up doing it back to front as well which uh, I didn't even know you could, uh, you could do such a thing so anyway the bollard gang let's deal with these bastards one bullet at a time now I think you actually get the double barreled shotgun or maybe the sawn-off shotgun as a reward for doing this level. It's 
I think it's one of those two. But we already had it at this point, so sadly, no bueno. And I'm going to pour one out for Midnight. Look at that guy. That guy's just like standing there next to the tent. Oh, evening. Didn't even see him. Definitely need to be more observant. All right. Oh, chest. What's in the chest? $15. Eh. I mean, I guess we'll take it. Better than a kick in the ass, I suppose. There's two gentlemen here roasting nicely on the fire. Harvesting up all of their goodies. Yeah, the sawn off and the double barrel shotgun. Uh, they're not good. They're really not good. Uh, I think I did try them quite a bit off camera. And they're just really underwhelming. Even when you do hit enemies with them, they don't seem to do the damage that you would want them to do. Ah, that's an unfortunate place to stand on this rather rickety looking bridge. Although, I guess we're doing the same thing. But we're John Marston after all. So we have a somewhat decent amount of plot armor. Not an unlimited amount, but we've got plot armor. I don't think I'd fancy going across one of those rickety bridges. I have gone through one um, on real life. In real life, I should say. Um, yeah, they're really sketchy, the way they move. I think it was at a theme park somewhere. So it was a somewhat, you know, safe environment, but it's still sketchy as fuck. But there's a lot of these guys to deal with. So I'm hoping um, this sounds better. I mean, I've noticed that I've got a few of my old videos because I recorded these ones at the time of recording this now, um, or doing the voiceover, I should say. Uh, I recorded these videos months ago with my old microphone and I've identified like four or five videos where the microphone just sounds like ass. And that actually happened a few times. Um, it usually happens after like a Windows update, but Windows doesn't always, you know, isn't always obvious when it's updated uh, until you record some videos and you realize it's reset all of your mic and audio settings. So, and that, to be honest with you, is the biggest reason I decided to upgrade my microphone system to have an external um, mixer desk. So we can just... <laughs> We don't have to worry about Windows updating anymore. As long as the actual software for the microphone doesn't fuck up, we should be in a much better place. And I hope it sounds better. Because um, the microphone I had before, it, it was good. It was really good. But, um, you know, unless you checked it and triple checked it every single time you went to do a recording session, um, which I did always try to do, but sometimes I forgot. And then there were huge issues. I know one of these Red Dead videos has already gone up, at least one of them, with like ass audio quality. But I just haven't had time to fix it. So instead of recording any new videos this week, I'm going back over my old videos and trying to correct them. Uh, anyway, that's my problem, not yours. So we're kind of getting to the end here. Now, unfortunately, this probably would have been quite a bit quicker if we still had Midnight, but sadly, Midnight bought the farm, literally. Wrote a check, her ass couldn't cash. Now, although we left two guys alive, it doesn't matter. Somehow it still counts for us actually completing this one. Well, I mean, John isn't exactly the best of the folks around here, but he's eight. He doesn't mind helping when it's needed. Okay. And with that, we can continue on to Irish. Because Irish owes us a Gatling gun. Now, I've um, edited this video down quite a lot more. I've cut out a lot more of the traveling. 
But here we are. Let's go find our friend. I don't know. I might stick to more post commentary in the future. Um, I'm not sure which style is better. I'll leave that to you guys to decide. A man is born onto trouble. Aye. <laughs> Uncle Irish, untie them strings. Oh dear. I see you. Get away from me. Right here. <laughs> Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. Uh, I, I found you one. Uh. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and then the salt on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> Uh, it gives me the memory of a newborn babe. Is innocent as can be. <laughs> <laughs> and it makes me violently angry. <laughs> Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. <laughs> Not a feller to give up easily, are you? Well, I think it's more the fact that John just wants what he's bargained for. And unfortunately, we are stuck dealing with an old stinking drunk. There certainly could be uh, better partners out there, but hopefully he's going to come through because Arthur's patience is running somewhat thin at this point. Somewhere stuck between pear and meddling. Mm. Well, you're gonna be stuck somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. <laughs> you not that at all, feller. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just gets a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo started. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard. <laughs> Dunk his head in the water Irish? again. I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Breach. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose. <laughs> I, it. I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrews. <laughs> Maybe if you was more cordial with folks, they might be better inclined to help you. <laughs> I saved your life and you repaid me by lying, nearly getting me killed. That's fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Tooth so the miners don't see us coming. I like the way he dodges that question. With a machine gun. Miners are always flighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and doxies, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. <laughs> I'll be telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get the lie of the land. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't trust him, John. Let's be honest. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sciences. <laughs> I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, an Irish. I strongly advise you don't run off this time. <laughs> strongly advise. You're trespassing. State your business or move along. Well, we got no time for these guys. Open fire! 
I think we're going to deal with them pretty quickly. Unfortunately, looks like our secret's out. So this is going to be pretty hectic. We're going to go in hot and heavy, I reckon. Go in like a sledgehammer. Hopefully, we're not going to die. I say hopefully. We know how these things sometimes turn out. Mostly turn out. Who the hell are you? I am here to liberate you of your gun, sir. At least I've heard you've got one. And John, that is not the best place to take cover, mate. Just saying. Oh, there certainly looks like a few of them. And are these guys, like, really miners? I find it difficult to imagine that miners would just become so hostile. Having said that, hang on. Let's wind that back just a little bit. We did shoot our way into this place. So, who's really the aggressor here? I mean, I suppose we could just blame Irish. And that'd be easy. I'll clear everything up. Alright, well, we've collected a little bit of money for our trouble. A few dollars here, a few more dollars there. All goes down. Still a couple of them out there. That guy certainly didn't have a good time. Well, I don't think I am making a mistake, because we have all the power here, apparently. You guys are none too smart. See that head of yours? I have no idea why I'm using the Cattleman revolver here either, but to be honest with you, there isn't really a bad weapon in this game. They're all fairly good. As long as the gun shoots straight and kills folks. That's all that matters. Pretty much all the pistols are good at that. Some of the repeaters feel um, needlessly weak, but it's only like the basic entry ones. But I do find for the most part in this game, um, the pistol, or pretty much any pistol, can comfortably carry you through the Pretty much any mission. And when you start getting the more advanced uh, pistols towards the end of the game, yeah, that's kind of all you need, really. And if you really want to make a mess, then, well, you can't go wrong with the uh, auto shotgun. Yeah, we actually tried the double-barreled shotgun here, and I think the other shotgun, and... Yeah, it's it's not great. As you can see. Three shots and he's still going. Three good shots and he was still going. Kind of useless. I mean, maybe if we stuffed it down his gullet, it would have been a little bit different, but... Son of a whore. It's not very nice. You can have wood splinters in your arsehole for that, mate. Well, we don't have many shotgun shells. But, eh, I'm sure we have enough. Got plot, uh, lots of uh, repeater ammo. But I don't really use the repeater that much, from what I can remember, throughout this game. Ooh, he was literally, like, perched up against that explosive barrel then. That would have been a nice little, a nice little surprise. Rattle his teeth around his skull. Oof. Feel sorry for that guy. That guy looked like he was probably called Cletus. 
didn't really enjoy rummaging through Cletus's long johns. He didn't look like the most sanitary of folk. Right, well this cloud is making it hard to see what's going on. Hello. Ooh. That felt very powerful. Yeah, that chap looks like he's had enough. Sorry about this, <laughs> They've all got like six dollars on them, it's weird. Oh, look at this, what a champion. Well, he was a champion. Yeah. He, yeah. He doesn't know what's going on now. I don't think he's got a lot of spine left. Ooh. An unfortunate place to stand there, friend. I think we shot him in the head, so he didn't get to enjoy being burnt to death. Did I say he enjoy burnt to death? I mean, we didn't get to enjoy. It's always fun to inflict maximum misery and pain on your enemy. But then, yeah, as I said previously, pretty sure we're the aggressor here. They found themselves a nice Gatling gun, and we're just here to liberate them <laughs> of it. We could have offered them some money for it or something, but no. That's not how we roll. Not when we got an arsenal of weapons. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Gave him some new lead teeth. Or at least one giant lead tooth. Lead teeth for everyone, I guess. Don't think you'll be needing this. <laughs> He's definitely not going to be needing that anymore, John. Better off in our pocket. I'm guessing our wallet must be pretty substantial by now. Because to be carrying around like three and a half thousand dollars back then, yeah, that would be quite a substantial amount of money. Considering how much of it is in change. Mm -mm -mm. Extra crispy. I like it. A stupid ass. Ah, it's always disappointing when you shoot one of those and you don't hear screaming. I like the scream. It soothes my soul, you know. Reaffirms the fact that we've done a good job dealing with these guys. I mean, they could have just laid down their weapons at the end of the day and let us take what we wanted. Man, those powder kegs go up in such a destructive way. They are fun. Ooh. Look like we kneecapped him. Oh, there's another Cletus. Well, this was un an unfortunate bit of business, but it needed to be done. And if it means that we're going to come out with what we need to assault the fortress, then so be it. Hey, Irish wasn't lying. Or maybe he just got lucky. Okay, let's get this thing out of here. This is gonna be heavy. Pretty sure we start going the wrong way. Yeah. Oops. It's not good. Yeah, don't be silly, John. Can't shoot your way through this one. At least not in that way. Right, let's get out of it. I 
do like the idea of riding these minecarts. It's something that I think they could have used a little bit more. It's not the thing. I think they only used this mechanic twice. But it's quite a well thought out and a, a mechanic that actually works really well as well. Nice bit of weight behind it all. Oof. Nice bit of fun after all the chaos. <laughs> I thought I'd be looking at your carp being hauled up this lip. <laughs> Irish, you're such a piece of shit. Still, at least what we have, what we needed. Yeah, unfortunately, because there's so much weight in this thing, it does pull us along. This bit is so much fun. And this uh, minecart does provide a decent amount of protection as well. Well, this is bad. Uncle Cletus laying that nasty explosive for us. Good thing the powder keg didn't destroy the lines. That would have been very bad. Nearly there, Charlie boy. And with that, the deed is done. We have ourselves a Gatling gun. Let's go. A short wee ride now, and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to Old West Dickens. People we have to deal with, sure honestly. <laughs> yeah, not saying I don't trust you or anything Irish, but anyway. But you're a dick. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, guys, that basically wraps up this section. So I hope the post commentary was okay. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, I can't remember. <laughs> So anyway, I've got to do posts for the next few videos. So I'll catch you then. Thanks for watching, guys.